Okay. Let's see. Today is Sunday, January 20th. Uh, yesterday I dug this big cavity in the ground for the re for the last of my bottles, the re what's remaining. And it looks like I got plenty of room. Probably have room left over. So so here's the bottles uh, that I've got. Let's see. Got a nice variety. Now yesterday I broke one of the bottles here and I noticed it was a green bottle with a blue neck label, which means it's probably a barefoot Merlot. And so I'll replace it with a like bottle. That would be yeah. yeah, this this was the type of bottle that was in this spot yesterday. And I broke it. So I'll re I'll replace it with one of these. Like I said, we the blue label on the neck generally and the green bottle generally means Merlot and we get uh, we get barefoot Merlot, and so, so that that's going to go there. Okay, let's see. Oh, I got this one little. There's this little thing here that I have to chip away at with those tools there, with the hammer and chisel. Okay, but okay, but for now, I just wanted to do an assessment. And get a view, a view of the bottles and the hole in the ground. And you'll notice there's more, there's more gin bottles toward the end. Toward the end of uh, 2012, Eddie and I were drinking more gin and less wine, uh, in part because it's more cost effective. Um, a little, one of these little gin bottles goes a long way when you mix it with ice and tonic. So gin and tonics generally last a little longer than say, you know, a bottle of wine. So, but, but we're not drinking anymore because we're getting old and it's a little rough on our digestive systems. So, so we decided at the end of 2012, that'd be a good time to stop. And that, that's also a good time to end this project. So, so I'm going to work on this and hopefully uh, sometime today, tomorrow, just in the next couple of days, I'll have this project finished. Okay. 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 I had to charge my battery on my phone, so I've got it back now. In the meantime, uh, I've done one row of new bottles. You can kind of see the ones I've added. Uh, these back here are the ones, ones that were already in the ground. And these, and this, 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 this. Those are the new ones. And you can kind of see that uh, the necks of the bottles are pounded down into the clay part of the ground. Basically, I use, I use this. I just hold them in place and yeah, just pound them in and, and they stick into the clay or the dirt, uh, but most of them stick into the clay. And it looks like, I, like I said yesterday, I guess, I guess I kind of went overboard <laughs> digging this hole because I've got plenty of room. So I think today as I do this and I work with the bottles, I'm going to have to actually add soil to the bottom. For instance, here's a gin bottle, a Gordon's gin bottle, and because they have a flat side, I usually like to pair them. Pair them like this, because the two flat sides uh, fit together nicely, and then that uh, creates kind of a rounded edges uh, that balance out the rounded edges of all the other bottles. Okay, so I'm going to have to, on that one I could just I could just put that one in by hand, but I'll pound it down a little bit more. Um, yesterday I was concerned with digging out and you know removing enough dirt. Today I think I'm going to have to add dirt as I uh, as I put these bottles in. Uh, but that's a good thing. So so anyway, so that's where I am right now. Okay, 
We'll check on this later. We'll check on my progress. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> well, uh, this is, these are the ones that were already in the ground. Uh, these are the new ones that were in the ground. As you can see, I've got, I got quite a bit of space. Yes. And uh, yesterday I thought I would need all this space. Uh, but these are all the bottles, uh -huh. and um, and these are this is all they're gonna be. This is after this this project is ended. Uh -huh. So so these will probably fit up to about here, and I'll have I'll have to fill fill in some of the dirt I dug up. Uh -huh. uh, but I'm glad I did that because behind me I've got all this all this uh, extra dirt. So so I'm using that with with one of these shovels, and I'm putting it back in. Especially at the base of the bottles, where the bottle neck goes into the ground. Uh huh. Uh, but most of the time, um, most of the time, this 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 amount of void works pretty well. I dug down about one foot, and mo most of these bottles are 12 inches. So they're about a foot long. Uh huh. And so, like like right up here by the sidewalk, I'm going to place this green bottle next to these two gin bottles, and. And I'm just going to pound it down into the clay. Okay, I pound it down till it's level with the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty good. And then, you know, I'm, I'm trying to space these out, but toward... Toward the end of 2012, we were drinking more gin. Uh, we were having more gin and tonics because that's a little more cost effective. Because, uh, you know, one bottle of wine that lasts between the two of us that lasts one night. But when we mix one of these little bottles of gin with ice and tonic water and lime, you know, these last us two, three nights. And so. so Usually these were more two cost nights. Yeah, so these were more cost effective. So, but like I said, we're, <laughs> we're getting to the age where our digestive systems are a little more delicate, so we're not, we're not drinking the alcohol anymore. And so I figured, you know, it's, now it's January of 2013, we stopped drinking alcohol in December of 2012, so I think 2012 is a good year. You know, I started this project in 2006, and basically we stopped we stopped purchasing the bottles in 2012. I think that's a good place to, mm -hmm. to bring this to an end. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I've got that. I need another big bottle here. Let's see, I'm going to put this big, put this big green bottle next to that. Okay. Okay, thank you. Is it on? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Maybe you can tell what you were saying before. Okay, sure. Um, pound that guy in. Um, probably toward the end, you know, we were drinking more beer and more gin and tonics. And I've got, I have a lot of these gin and tonic bottles and a few of these beer bottles and a couple of Irish cream bottles. So I think probably the last row will probably have almost all of these and some of these brown bottles mixed in. But what I'm trying to do is, is I'm, I'm putting in more gin and tonic, but I'm, I'm trying to space them out and integrate them uh, with the green bottles, the brown bottles, and, the, and ba basically those are the colors I have. I have clear glass, dark brown, and green. And so I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to even them out, but you know, it basically they'll just go wherever they fit. So, so I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. What I'm doing is, as I pound these bottles in, I make them level with the sidewalk, and then if the rest is relatively level, that's good enough. Because uh, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these in with dirt, and then later I'm going to fill it all in with sand. And then once once 
the cavities between the bottles is all filled in, uh, then they're very stable mm -hmm. and, ver and very durable. Because the, the strongest part of the bottle is this part here, and the weakest part, the weakest part is this part here. Mm -hmm. And so, so once once I have these all in and I've got them filled in with dirt and sand, then then it becomes very solid. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Okay, now it's on. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Hi. Hi. I'm down. I'm down to the last four bottles. Mm -hmm. At the end, I decided to space them out a little bit. And yeah. I think because when I fill it back in with dirt, I want them to kind of, kind of integrate into the landscape, into the. Oh, ground. okay. So, and this is all I'm going to do. So this is going to be the end. And so I wasn't sure how to end it, so I decided to space them out, and that would sort of give it a kind of a, a graceful end. Mm -hmm. So. So what I'm doing now, let's see, I think I'm going to take, I'm going to put this green one, oh no, See, I don't, I don't even have to dig. I just have to just plant them, and then in they go. very last one, I think I'll put him even, even with the sidewalk. No, 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 I think I'm going to put him right here. I think that'll, you know, the space between these bottles will make a nice transition to uh, the land, to, to the ground and whatever's mm -hmm. growing. I don't, I wouldn't even mind if, you know, a little bit of something was growing in between these in the end. Well, as long as it's not a tree. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, these are bottles, so, you, you know, you can always move them. Okay. That's that. And I'm gonna. Oh, is that thing still running? Yeah. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna shovel some dirt back on this, and then cover it with sand, and and we'll see how it. We'll see how it turns out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Eddie. Between the bottles, with uh, dirt and debris, and I'll have to go over this with a rake a few times. Mm-hmm. But this. This gives you an idea. You can. You can see the bottles. The end of the bottles emerging. As I do this, what I do is, is I'll do this. I'll do this back and forth several times, or until I get tired, mm -hmm. and then and, and then eventually, and I'll hose it down, and the water will help pack down some of that soil, and then the final the final step will be to put some sand on top of it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, now I'm going to go back. This is a little loose. Pack this down.
I'm going to fine tune this a little bit and then I'm going to put some sand on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eddie. Oh, you're welcome. <coughs>